grateful for a military decision? I needed a second opinion. <laughs> military tactics weren't so uncommon in history. Everybody knows General Grant would have surrendered at Gettysburg were it not for his Ouija board. <laughs> These are modern times, and I'm far from a modern man. These days, military tacticians use tools I simply do not understand, like the worldwide interweb. And no spies! <laughs> so, what happened? Well, Sergeant Holmes was chagrined, but he agreed to sweep my secret under the rug for the good of the country. In return, his demands were that I A, retire immediately, that I B, forfeit the magic eight ball, and C, that I give him one of my legendary back rubs. <laughs> and his thoughts that the magic eight ball was in that box. And your name will be tarnished in the history books for all time. Yes, but I have no word. Anyone could tell you that. Even a magic ball with an eight on it could tell you that. Not a murder. Not a murder. What about all those innocent Canadians, man? The term innocent Canadian. Is that all say it all wrong? You're an oxymoron. But, like, minus the oxy part, which is my way of, like, telling you a moron. Regardless of moronic opinions, I still put forth that you, respected general, may have been the murderer. You have the motive, and definitely the means, given that the wall is covered in now. <laughs> but the murderer could also have been... You know what? You have a good point. Uh, this is going to take quite a while, so let's just throw in a few quicker ones in there. Um, how about, uh, let's see, washed up actress, southern belle, and plastic politician. Um, how about just, you know, 50 words or less, quick motive. Um, washed up actress, here you go first. Mysterious host was cast as the lead in a play. I was his understudy. <laughs> Alright, solid motive, solid motive. Solid motive. Um, southern belle, go next. Well, I lost all my money when I invested my last savings in a company that specializes in microwavable popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> given my desperation and given that serious host, my brother, I, I stole his bill when he wasn't looking and crossed it over the names that mine. <laughs> what? You didn't leave my name in there? You're granted! All right. Plastic politician. <coughs> I was running against mysterious host in the state senate. Vote for me. <laughs> and uh, he somehow managed to uncover a video of me throwing a litter of golden retriever puppies on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we must return to reenactments. I have hired these actors for the whole night. And I think one of them might be a bit depressed if he doesn't come on for more longer. I will. <laughs> I pay you right, you will. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes! The murderer could also have been Boy Van Richard! Me, Inspector? You're barking up the wrong tree. Um, would you mind telling me how you were kicked out of the back street, boys? It was a rough time in the mid to late 90s. I don't really like to talk about it. Tell me about the rehearsal session. That changed everything. If you insist, Inspector, if you insist. It was 1995. The boys and I were wrapping up a rehearsal for our latest hit single, Loving You. <laughs> Loving you is so easy because your heart is true. I've got a 
feeling. And that feeling is telling me that this one is going straight to number one. Yeah. Like the storm's 
back. <laughs> As I was saying, the murderer could also have been struggling, stand up, come in! Me? You're barking up the wrong tree in a second. And speaking of trees, why don't you make like a tree and photosynthesize the oxygen that humans require to breathe? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you alive? <laughs> let's move on, let's move on. I would like you to tell me about your performance at the Laugh Club. Please, Inspector, I can't. It's too much. You have no choice in the matter. Proceed. All right. It was early on in my career, and I was headlining at the Laugh Bowl, which, as I'm sure you all know, is one of the premier comedy clubs in West Hamilton. <laughs> I was really feeling it that night. It was one of those gigs where every joke just rolls off your tongue, like a rotisserie chicken playing blackjack. <laughs> Sir, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but someone across the street has reported a putrid 